cellulitis, and erysipelas. The pathogens that cause cellulitis and erysipelas are gram-positive bacteria. It is usually streptococcus pyogenes and the staphylococcus aureus follow. Cellulitis is a common, potentially serious bacterial skin infection. It is on the deeper skin that includes dermis and subcutaneous tissues. The skin looks red and swollen. It is painful and warm to touch. Usually occurs in the lower leg, but also can occur in other areas. It has ambiguous border with uninfected skin. So it is usually present in middle-aged and older adults. Warm weather is a risk factor for cellulitis and other skin and soft tissue infections. It is common in community and hospital. 24 per 10,000 people are infected as cellulitis. Erysipelas is a superficial cellulitis. It is an inflammation of the skin in upper layer. It is caused by streptococcus pyogens. So as you can see, it looks like a red butterfly on the face. And sometimes the systematic features come together, such as fever, chills, warmth, erysma, redness, tenderness, and swelling. It has more distinct between red skin and dormer skin. Let's check out the treatment for cellulitis and erysipelas. So first line treatment, if the S pyogens is suspected, then we use phenoxymethylpenicillin orally. In other words, penicillin V. So six hourly for five days. This is the antibiotic spectrum. Penicillin V, the first line covers the streptococcus pyogens. Uh, however, so the patients, if they can have the non-severe hypersensitive to penicillin, then we use cephalexin. And if they have hypersensitivity, the severe one or immediate one, then we use clin uh, clindamycin. So the drugs that we have seen above, penicillin, cephalexin, and lincomycin, they are all time dependent. So the duration of time above the MIC, the minimum inhibitory concentration, is very important. When beta-lactam antibiotic achieves above MIC for 40 to 70 percent of the dosing interval, they achieve near maximal bacterial cytal activity. Now let's have a look at the drug that also strongly includes Staphylococcus aureus, which are for the prolonged cellulitis. So for prolonged cellulitis, for example, when it is associated with abscess, we use these penicillins, the decloxacillin, 500 milligram, and flucosacillin, 500 milligram. This is the spectrum. In comparing with a penicillin V, we have a broader spectrum. So people with MRSA are estimated to 64% more likely to die than people with a non-resistance form of SRS infection. So the, if the patient has a MRSA infection of the cellulitis, then we use trimethoprim plus sulfamethoxazole or for the second line, clindamycin. Also, for empirical therapy for cellulitis and erysipelas with systemic features such as fever, chills, we use benzyl penicillin IV, 6 hourly. So it is for the patients uh, who have a systematic feature of two or more of the followings. So first, if the temperature is more than 38 Celsius or less than 36 Celsius. Two, heart rate more than 90 beats per minute. Three, respiratory rate more than 20 breaths per minute. Four, white cell count is more than 12 times 10 to the 9 per liter or less than 
four times ten to the nine per liter, or more than ten percent of immature forms. Also, this intravenous therapy is used for patients who are unable to tolerate oral therapy, immunocompromised patients, patients with comorbidities that increase the risk of rapid disease progression such as diabetes.